I'm Pete Mitchell from The Farmer's Son. Today we're going to go through one way to cook white pudding. So our award-winning white pudding, Scottish recipe from 1921. Take it out of the paper packaging. The sleeve is recyclable. Typically it cooks the best at about a centimeter to two centimeter slices. So we're gonna open up the plastic packaging that it's in. Pop that in the bin. Now we're gonna put our pan on at a medium heat. What we're going to take is we're going to take some oil. Today we have olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil or rapeseed oil or a knob of butter. Just pop that into the pan when it's hot. Let that come up to temperature. Just be careful it doesn't spit. While that's coming up to temperature, take the white pudding and just remove carefully the outer plastic casing. This is not edible, so just make sure that you don't try and eat that. It will burn, so I usually find that the product cooks best if it's removed before cooking. So just carefully pop that in there. The products don't need to be touching in the saucepan. So you don't need to overcook it. What we recommend in the cooking instructions is about two and a half minutes. And that way it's cooked through until it's piping hot. White pudding is traditionally it's made from Scotch, PGI Scotch beef. We're using Scottish oatmeal. We're using Scottish onions in our recipe as well. It's a hundred year old all natural family recipe that we're using. There's no preservatives or additives or colorings. White pudding is delicious, not only with breakfast, it can be great with a steak, you can have it on its own with an egg as well. Our cooking tip is you can use it for chicken stuffing, it's absolutely delicious as a stuffing. So I've given this about two minutes on each side. The white pudding needs a little longer to cook than normal. Again, just make sure it's absolutely piping hot before you take it off. But it, just, it should be lovely and moist, full of flavour and absolutely delicious. 